Mastering Advanced Grammar Agreement with the Positives Hello Language Learners! Welcome back to our series on English Grammar Fundamentals. Today, we're moving into an exciting area, Advanced Noun and Pronoun Agreement Concepts. Specifically, we'll tackle the intriguing topic of agreement with the positives. It may sound a bit technical, but don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll have a firm grasp on it. First off, let's clarify. What is an A-positive? An A-positive is a noun or noun phrase that renames another noun right beside it. The A-positive can be a short or long combination of words. Let's look at an example. Jane, my sister, is a teacher. In this sentence, my sister, is the A-positive for the noun, Jane. Now, the question is, how does agreement work with the positives? Well, here's the rule. The verb agrees with the original subject, not the A-positive. Consider the example, the CEO, along with his managers, is scheduled to speak at the conference. Here, the CEO, is the main subject, and, along with his managers, is an A-positive phrase. Despite the presence of, managers, the verb, is, agrees with the singular subject, CEO, not the plural A-positive. Now, how about noun and pronoun agreement with the positives? The same rule applies. The pronoun must agree with the original noun, not the A-positive. Here's an example. John, one of my friends, forgot his umbrella. In this sentence, the pronoun, his, agrees with the original subject, John, not with the A-positive, one of my friends. Understanding and correctly applying noun and pronoun agreement with the positives can make your English more precise and professional. It's a finer point of English grammar, but mastering it will certainly level up your language skills. We hope this video has been enlightening. Keep practicing, keep learning, and we'll see you in the next one. Happy studying!